Hey, what's up? It's Kathy, and I'm back with another process video for Paper Issues. This time I'm working on the Working Title Challenge. So I'm creating a large title, and I'm going to use some word, uh, like chipboard thickers from some of uh, some recent and some older um, lines. So the first thing I'm going to start with is these florals that I fussy cut out of the Paige Evans Take Me Away paper um, that had these large florals on a gray background. The, the um, background paper I'm going to use is Dear Lizzie Saturday Collection. It's a B-side of a bunch of arrows. I'm going to back my photo with several different papers from some different lines. First I'm going to use this kind of Aztec tribal print from the Pink Paisley line that was an outdoor line that I can suddenly not remember the name of. Good for me. I have some of it left over, but I don't have the uh, the branding strip anymore. So I don't remember what it was. It was from the summer though. It was a really cute line and I bought a, a little bit of it. I didn't need a ton of it, but I bought the ones that were interesting to me. I'm also going to use that pink floral from the Maggie Holmes Gather collection and I used the blue like watercolor wash ombre from Paige Evans um, one of the Paige Evans lines I don't know if it was take me away or uh, anyone else remember what the first one was called <laughs> I don't remember now shoot it's gone for me. I thought it was from the Take Me Away collection, though. But now I don't know. Fancy Free, that was the other one. It's from one of the others. I don't remember. So I want to use the florals around the picture, and I'm going to prop the picture up on a little bit of fun foam. But I'm also going to cut out the, like, literal 40 minutes of playing with these flowers that it took. So I am cutting it out because nobody needs to, to watch all that. But I'm letting you know that, you know, the reason I'm talking about it and not saying, oh, it took me five seconds and I had them in the right spot was, you know, while this is a hobby and it's, you know, supposed to be there to be relaxing, sometimes it's not relaxing, especially when it's just not going the way you want it and it's not being ex aesthetically pleasing to the eye and it wasn't for me it wasn't working the way I had envisioned uh, I think I do end up cutting out one more floral eventually so that I have six to work with because it just ended up being better that way and some of it was because I laid this out to begin with and when I laid it out um, and kind of had an idea and took a picture I hadn't the photo wasn't back, so there was a lot less space to work, to worry about. And then, of course, after I backed the photo, there was more, like, more space, um, or less space for the flowers to go. And I didn't mind some of them hanging off, but I didn't want them all to be hanging off. And I didn't, I wanted it to be kind of organic looking, and I didn't want two cutouts that were the same beside each other. And it was just... Like, you, you'd see me struggling right now. Like, where am I going with this? And this was sped up and me cutting out, like, 40 minutes of unsped up <laughs> video. And then, for some reason, after I get this all down, I forget to film me grabbing all the, uh, all the embellishments that I'm going to use. Um, I do like that the Tombow, for the most part, if you rub your finger on it, it will come off so I can get it off, which is nice. Um, so I do kind of end up going with this as my design in the end. I originally wanted the flowers going the opposite ways, but in the end, I just kind of liked it sitting this way. My original thought was that the flowers were going to go the opposite way, and maybe in the end, that's where they should have gone. Yeah, so I show that I'm off getting, I've grabbed those pink for studio hearts that I don't end up using. Uh, and I go off and grab chipboard. I grab Maggie Holmes open book. I grab um, the chipboard from her latest collection. 
which was gather, which I don't know if anybody else had this issue, but mine won't, st <laughs> mine don't stay on the piece of like backing paper at all. Like not even close. Sometimes I've had them where they don't a little bit, but this is just, they're all over the place. I'm losing them. They're, they're making me really cross. Like I'm really mad that <laughs> they're everywhere. So I'm going to play around with the placement, but I knew I wanted to use the happy, but the, but I wanted to tell the story that the picture was taken on a date night that I was having with my husband. We were going to this thing called Albums Live and they were performing um, Beatles Abbey Road and Beatles, the Beatles are my favorite band and I don't usually buy tickets for things like this and I, I, I want to go but I never actually do it and this time I did and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to like a concert. I don't go to concerts. So this was really different for me. But I'd been feeling, you know, I'd have the usual issues of dealing with mental illnesses, you know, creeping in and, and stuff like that. And so, of course, the doubt came in about going and not wanting to go and being embarrassed to go because I have odd anxieties. <laughs> and um, I decide in the end that, no, I'm, I am going to go. And I got dressed up and made sure my hair looked good and my makeup looked good and everything was on point and everything like that and I went and had an amazing time and had so much fun so I'm really glad that I went but I was kind of ma making that part of the story that I'm not always happy and some days are good days and some days are bad days and this was a good day and so I wanted to record it and of course I didn't take any pictures at the concert because you couldn't take pictures at the concert so I didn't have anything to record that way and of course you know in my you know enjoyment of the evening I forgot to take like a selfie with my husband or anything so this is the only picture I have. So rather than just make it a selfie about me I decided to make it a selfie about um, you know, struggling with on and off days. So the reason I'm playing around with that 05 was the concert was on November 5th. So I just, when else am I going to use those numbers? <laughs> I'm never going to use those numbers. So I really wanted to bring them in. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm bringing in that I, I cut out the, one of the little frames from Take Me Away that says today I choose joy because you know, today I did choose, that day I did choose joy. I don't always choose joy, but that day I did, so I wanted to include it. Um, and the hashtag smile. <laughs> and one of them says keeping it real, but I didn't, and then encourage dear heart is what the little round one says, and I do include that. But I don't end up including anything that's like, every day is a good day, or those kind of super encouraging things, because you know, it's kind of a one day out of a t at a time idea. But um, I really liked how all these uh, products kind of flowed together. They all had very similar colors. Um, they worked well. I ended up using uh, some of the chipboard from Take Me Away. I don't know why, but I accidentally ordered two, so might as well use it up. So I enjoyed making the large, I love making large titles and I love making them out of different fonts or different um, thickers or different things like that. So getting to write, and the my in the story is from Maggie Holmes open book um, chipboard. So that's from a long time ago, but I still had, I still have quite a bit of it. Um, but I just, uh, I like how it all kind of looks together. It just makes kind of a funky uh, I don't know, just, yeah, I don't have to embellish too much to get the look I want. I included some gold uh, glittery hearts just to add in more glitter because they always um, had glitter around it. So that kind of brought in more glitter. I, I just like the funness of it. I'm just going to freehand journal and in like a white jelly roller, I'm going to freehand draw lines. This is like the make or break it moment because I could really mess this up. If I mess this up, I've either got to do printout journaling or I got to do something else. But I didn't, thankfully, in my opinion, not mess up. 
because I like the slight messiness of hand journaling and not having it all completely straight or anything. And if you see movement, I bet you my daughter's in here in the room with me while I was filming this. So she might have been trying to be like, Mom, put, put this on. <laughs> so, but I did a lot of journaling on this one. I don't like to do hidden journaling because I don't want people to go have to investigate my work to go find the journaling. I'd like it to just be out there. So I'm going to finish it off with White Dilutions, which is my favorite white that I am actually able to buy. Uh, and it works quite well for this type of stuff. And it just kind of added a little bit to the to the background since it already had little dots. But um, yeah, I really love how this layout turned out. I love making big titles, so I can't wait to work on this challenge. Continuing on. Um, so pictures are coming up. And thanks for joining me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye. I'm probably going to wave here in a second. Really quickly. <laughs>